Hey guys, Jamie here. I have a channel centered around van life, bus life, living in this uh, school bus right here. Been doing it for 10 years. Put out videos regarding uh, interviews of folks living the van life, bus life, and how to do solar. Anything related to setting up your vehicle to make it more comfortable for life on the road. And in this video, we're gonna cover the four things that every pro master must have. Let's get to it right after this message from Design Crowd. Today's video is brought to you by Design Crowd. I recently changed my logo, and in doing so, I went to a company that uses an absolutely amazing concept. Where do logos come from, ultimately? They come from our imaginations, right? Well, Design Crowd taps into the imaginations of hundreds of designers all around the world. You get in there, you fill out the form on basically what you're looking for, font, colors, basic ideas, and Design Crowd does the rest. They send the information out to hundreds of designers all around the world and they start sending you back logo ideas within hours look at all these designs that the designers sent me i mean they're just brilliant it was hard to pick a winner in fact you don't even have to you pick a winner you pay for the one you like but you can go in and you can pay for other ones too they've got price points to fit your budget and just look at all these designs i can't say enough about how happy i am with i mean just look at these designs with uh, the wonderful job they did so if you need a logo don't worry about it. Send your information over to Design Crowd and they will help you get going on that. Let's get back to the video. So you're gonna set off into the traveling lifestyle and you got yourself a ProMaster. Could even be a Ford Transit or a Sprinter. But today we're gonna focus on the ProMaster. What four essentials would make life a lot easier without costing too much? Let's just talk about them. Starting at the top, right here, you got your rain gutter. Invariably, you're gonna build out your rig and you're gonna run in to rain. It's gonna come down, you, maybe you want the door open to breathe in the rig. It's gonna come down, it's gonna get on the floor, maybe cause a little bit of rust. I mean, you just don't want your stuff to get wet. This very inexpensive little piece of plastic, it comes with double-sided tape on it and you just line it up, say, with the top of this metal piece and peel and stick it on your rig and it will hold out the rain. Now you can get this in white if you want, but Becca chose black because invariably it seems like when you go with a white piece of plastic out in the sun, it's gonna turn yellow over time, but that's up to you. The second thing that every pro master must have is a grab handle as you're stepping in. You got yourself a little sturdy handle you can pick up online. I'll put the links in the description down below. It comes with a metal plate behind it. Uh, so you take this molding off and install it with the metal plate behind it and then it's super sturdy this is going to come in at about 158 dollars uh, link below now you can find cheaper ones but i would encourage you not to because you, you this is really sturdy and you buy it once and you're done the third thing every pro master heading out on the road must have is a step stool this is another one you don't want to cheap out on. You can find these made out of plastic that kind of fold away at Walmart or whatever. That's dangerous. You don't want to go with one of those. Get you something that folds up but has these wide legs for a wide stance. And so when you step on it, it's substantial and it's not going to go anywhere on you. This is good to help you step in and out of your vehicle. But also, if you have a pet that might have a hard time struggling with getting in and out of that height, that way when you go to find a good parking space, sometimes, guys, you'll be in a spot where you're up on a perch and the step down is more exaggerated than if it were on level ground. And so something like this is gonna come in super handy. I use mine all the time on my bus and Becca uses hers too. So get yourself a step stool. The price on the step stool is $58. And the fourth and final thing that every pro master hitting the road to live the van life lifestyle is a door stop. So this big sliding door right here. You got your door open. You got your door closed, but what if you want your door in between and you're parked at a little bit of an angle? We've all been there. If you're in a van, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a door like this, you end up using your sandal or a little bungee or something to try to get it situated. But they've made a piece for this that fits on the groove. I'm gonna show you right now. This little piece, I believe it's aluminum, 
it comes with some JB Weld, and you just JB Weld it on there. See, it's like a little ramp. It sits in this divot, and then it goes back on by. Little ramp. The wheel sits in this divot, so it doesn't hurt anything. Then check this out. It rests in there, and now, it, even if you're parked at a little bit of an angle where the door would normally just slide closed, it stays in place. So there you have it. I hope that helps you out, getting your van ready to get on the road. These things aren't going to cost you too much, but they're going to make your life a lot easier. Just trying to help you out. Thanks for watching. Links below. See ya. Uh, I don't think you got the price of this one. So if you want to just mention that. 52. Fifty-two bucks for the door lock. For the door stopper. Alright. Anything else you wanna get on there? Fifty-two bucks for the door stopper. <laughs> Do we have enough light? Yeah, it looks good on the camera. Okay. We've got good. Should look show where we are. You look really good on there. Beautiful okay. place. <laughs> All right. Thanks.